So, hey guys, Chaozi here. So we've celebrated the past year and now we're going to look forward to next year. So in this video I'm going to talk about my 10 wishes for, for OPTC in 2023. So yeah, there's a lot I want, so just let's just let's just jump straight into it. Number one is something I've talked about a lot. It's like my mantra at this point, but say after me, monthly arena and grand voyage. Like it it just rolls off the tongue. But yeah, I like just some baseline of new content that actually encourages team building and doesn't really need all the new batches and stuff, stuff like just rewards. Having a good box that makes you want to play the game, improve your box, get new units, stuff like that. So I hope it happens, but comments from Yoshi makes it sound like Arena is not going to be very common. And Grand Voyage is by monthly now. We'll, we'll see if we even get it this month. Uh, since none of the new level 11 break units really fits where we're at at Grand Voyage, so we'll see. Number two is a monthly Hime event buff, and this is badly needed. Level 150 is a nightmare for everybody, including me. And yeah, basically have an event that gives the new Rainbow Hemes. The Rainbow Hime herself is amazing, but drop rate is abysmal. They really need to improve that, and that's also a good way to encourage people to try and pull on the monthly batch, because you can get rewarded by getting a lot of Hemes, you can start getting stuff to level 150 and such, so to me it's a no-brainer, but for some reason they insist on the Hime event being awful to farm. The actual Supermans are of course amazing, but there's zero reason to keep farming after you've got them. Number three, I like a new story and for it to be reworked. So basically it feels like they should start getting the Wano story, like I think they're waiting for one to wrap up, but it probably will next year, maybe. But yeah, starting to get some one off chapters, and it would also be nice to make story actually have some form of team building. Maybe not the actual story, but they started adding like a bit harder missions before. Not Grand Voyage, but other harder missions. So just make it more of an exciting event and not like, uh, whatever, a few free games. Uh, for ship buffs being good, like it looks like we're getting buffs to ships considering all of the coal updates and such. And I'm really holding my fingers here. Uh, what I like is to have like different upgrade paths. You could have like multiple copies of each ship and you can go different ways. This way cola never gets useless and you can customize a bit, have different ships and it just keeps being an interactive part of the game. Uh, but I do, I don't think they go that far, but it would be nice. I'm expecting like some sort of ship limit break that just uses cola and we get new and buffed ships, which is exciting in itself. But let's see how complex they go with it. Uh, upgrades for duo units. So we're talking level limit break or six plus. Obviously, a duo six plus never happened. So many people are giving up on that. Uh, my personal policy is to never give up on things. Like, it seems like we're getting ship upgrades. And that's something you should have given up on, based on past precedent, because this has never happened. But it can happen in the future. 6 plus 2 can also happen if Bandai decides it. It's just not something we can expect, really. But the yeah, level level break is still definitely on the table. And there's a few months left before we can despair about around that. Uh, Luffy Ace in the picture could happen any month based on the units that are getting level limit break right now. So just crossing my fingers. Uh, do units really need a buff, especially the very old ones? Uh, I'd also like new Gather Islands islands. And yeah, I don't really have anything concrete in mind. I've had some ideas before, but now when we get here, I just kind of blank out. But basically, a lot of us who farm PvP a bit have started to max stuff out. Like, when we get around Global Ani or JP Ani, I will max out my Attack Seas Island. That means I will have max Rainbow Tree, max 
uh, Meat Island, Max, Attack CC, and those are the three only ones that really matters a lot. So after that, it will be like, why do I even play PvP? What am I going to use these resources for? So it would be nice to add new cool stuff. Uh, one cool thing would be like a CC island where you passively get a lot of CC. That would be really appreciated, especially if they made it good. Moving on. Kisuna reward buff, also a topic I talk a lot about, but it's barely needed. Kisuna has barely seen an upgrade for years, if you don't count the whole super boss thing. But like, I'm talking mainly the boxes here, like for box 1 to 6. We 100% need more insignia, mainly for the noobs. Like, maxing all Kisuna stuff is a nightmare for noobs. It's like the biggest gatekeeper in the game right now. It's like unthinkable how badly it's designed for newcomers. But like, more Kisuna insignia could be good for all, all players as well, since there's the other stuff you can buy with them, and they could add even more stuff. Uh, for box 7, they definitely need to add insignia there as well. They need to add all the new tablets. Like, come on. Just add uh, hunger, ship and all of that. Uh, they also need to add more CC in my opinion because CC doesn't really have a mode to farm it in right now. So I think Kisna will be a very good place to add that. So just add a lot of CC, new tablets, everything, insignia, and remove a lot of the fluff that's currently available in the boxes. Great place to start. Uh, I'd also really love the Return of Forest. This is another one of my very heartwarming wishes. Uh, basically, it's a content style we need that rewards bulky legends. It, it uh, encourages recovery, stuff like that. And not basically no mode in the game really encourages that right now. It's all about killing in one turn, stuff like that. So I really like it returning. It doesn't have to be monthly. It can be twice a year. I'd be super fine, but never is really hurtful for the game. Another mode that will really encourage people to get a good box, prepare for the next forest, gives an OP new ship, stuff like that would be super cool. Nine, new game mode to deliver. So Yoshi revealed in his interviews around the Comic Con there, like when he talks to Toadski and Roger Space and all that, that we are getting a new mode and the mode will be a way to get like old free-to-play units and stuff like that. And also something we can play. So some actual content. So we'll see where we get with that. Obviously, we got similar problems as with Grand Voyage. And I personally love it. But I can see that it's not for everybody. So I really hope they deliver with this. Since it looks like there's not much to hope for in terms of arena and such. So yeah, content is the best. So... Please give me more. Finally, I'd like some more love for all of One Piece. Most of the stuff we get are focused on where we are in the anime, which is understandable. I don't mind that. But there needs to be some variety. Like, we need to have batches around Skypea, around all of these old pre time skip stuff, even some post time skip, like when we did the last get a batch with like Fishman Island and such. I think it's a no-brainer, but we rarely get this, and if it happens, it's very minor. So if we got something like an Historia went before Annie, like we got a few years back, I'd be super thrilled about that. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.